Israeli forces have been on high alert and the region has been on edge, expecting a large attack from Hezbollah for weeks. When it came, Israel managed to thwart the worst of it, although there was some damage in the city of Akka and one Israeli soldier was killed. There is a threat of more to come, possibly from a different Iranian proxy next time. The cities in the north of Israel are abandoned, they are ghost cities. No one can live there because they're under fire. And this is exactly where we need to act in self-defense. And this is why we saw um, our forces acting to make sure that a major escalation won't happen, because Israel is not interested in all-out war. Israel has been steadily strengthening troop numbers along its northern border and carrying out military exercises simulating war at the same time as threatening an invasion of southern Lebanon. Hezbollah has played its own game of psychological warfare, threatening a major retaliation, but keeping Israel guessing when or where it would happen. It might choose to use that tactic again now. Miscalculation can happen at any time. We saw it like one month ago, and this could lead to a, a regional war that will not uh, see the face off of Hezbollah and Israel, but uh, uh, Iran and its proxy uh, against Israel, and maybe uh, this could drag the USA into the picture. Israel carried out more airstrikes in Gaza today as mediators and negotiators met in Cairo to discuss a truce. Hezbollah says it will immediately stop attacking Israel if a ceasefire in Gaza is agreed. That's looking unlikely. Diplomacy, realistically, the only hope for peaceful resolutions on both fronts, has been unsuccessful so far. Mediation efforts to try and persuade Hezbollah to pull back from Israel's border have so far failed. And so the working assumption is that Israel, at some point in the future, might feel the need to force the issue. And an invasion of southern Lebanon is still more likely than not. The US is pushing hard for a ceasefire and a de-escalation. Antony Blinken was in the region again over the last few days. Hezbollah says it doesn't want a war and is only striking Israel out of solidarity with Hamas in Gaza. But the daily attacks on both sides have been steadily increasing in volume and range, edging the two sides closer to the brink. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, in Jerusalem.